Hello. For my final project, I assembled a mathematical biography of Thomas Bayes, the 18th century mathematician who is famous for his work on inverse probabilities. Bayes was born at the turn of the 18th century, although his exact date of birth is unknown because his birth was not recorded in any official registers. This could be attributed to the fact that his family was nonconformist Protestants, uh, a religion that was persecuted against in England at the time. His, his family was uh, rather wealthy, though, despite the uh, religious persecution, uh, their money coming from the cutlery industry generations before Thomas's birth. Uh, there's also no clear record of, of Thomas's, uh, of Bayes' education prior to attending Edinburgh University. Uh, the, some people think that he had private tutoring, but there's no clear records of how he spent his time. At Edinburgh University, he studied logic and theology. And he likely studied some mathematics, but he was trained to be a minister and became the primary minister for a Presbyterian congregation in Tunbridge Wells, a town in southern England. In 1742, Bayes was elected as a fellow of the Royal Society, based off of a response he wrote to George Berkeley's critique of Isaac Newton's fluxions. As a member of the Royal Society, Bayes participated in a number of discussions, about mathematics. He did work on infinite series, but he is most famous for his results in probability. Only published after his death, an essay he wrote providing a solution to a problem posed by Abraham de Moivre is the reason why the theorem relating past probability to present probability is attributed to him. The problem he solves goes as follows. Take square table A, B, C, D, and throw a ball randomly on its surface. Draw line OS through the position of the ball parallel to AD, connecting AB and CD. Now roll a second ball randomly on the table, counting a success if it lands to the right of OS, and a failure if it lands to the left. Now repeat this operation with the second ball multiple times to accumulate failures and successes. Now Bayes wanted to know Given knowledge of the number of successes, could he determine the probability that the location of the first ball was within a given region, say BF? He solves the problem by drawing the curve of the binomial distribution below the table and uses the theorem now known as Bayes' theorem to show that the probability is equal to the ratio of the area under the curve in between the edges of the given regions to the area under the entire curve. Bayes' theorem reads, the probability of E given F is equal to the intersection of E and F divided by the probability that F occurs. Uh, when translated into this problem, we get that the probability O fails in between B and F given by P successes is equal to the integral of the curve from B to F divided by the integral of the curve from 0 to 1. Uh, he was able to solve the integral for the area under the whole curve but could only find the area of the portion of the curve for specific cases. The relationship of prior and present probabilities used to solve this problem is what we call Bayes' theorem today. The fact that someone who is not a mathematician for their profession was able to make such a meaningful contribution to the field of mathematics is truly remarkable. Thomas Bayes is a rare example of a casual participant in math who made a huge impact. The work of Bayes still has relevance today as Bayesian inference plays an important role in many different fields.